Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that find the real numbers x and y if x plus y iota the whole into 7 plus 6 iota the whole is the conjugate of minus 21 plus 13 iota. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know a result. And that is if z is equal to a plus b iota be a complex number then conjugate of z is equal to a minus b iota and it can also be written as the conjugate of z is equal to a minus b iota. This means that the conjugate of a complex number is formed by changing the sign of the imaginary part. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now we have to find the real numbers x and y if this condition is given to us. Now using this result which is given in the key idea the conjugate of minus 21 plus 13 iota is minus 21 minus 13 iota. That is, by changing the sign of the imaginary part, we are getting the conjugate of a number. Now, according to the given condition, x plus y iota the whole into 7 plus 6 iota the whole is the conjugate of this number. That means this is equal to minus 21 minus 13 iota. Further, on solving this implies 7x plus 6x iota plus 7y iota plus 6y iota square is equal to minus 21 minus 13 iota. Now this implies 7x plus 6x iota plus 7y iota plus 6y into now iota square is equal to minus 1 so it would be minus 1 here is equal to minus 21 minus 13 iota. Now this implies 7x plus 6x iota plus 7y iota minus 6y is equal to minus 21 minus 13 iota. Now this can also be written as 7x minus 6y the whole plus 6x plus 7y the whole into iota is equal to minus 21 minus 13 iota. Now we know that complex number is of the form a plus b iota where a, b are real numbers and a is called the real part and B is called the imaginary part. Now here, in this case, equating the real and imaginary parts, we get Now equating the real parts that are these we have 7x minus 6y is equal to minus 21 
and equating the imaginary parts, we have 6x plus 7y is equal to minus 13. Therefore, we are getting 7x minus 6y is equal to minus 21 and 6x plus 7y is equal to minus 13. Now, let us name this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. Now, we will solve these two equations simultaneously and for this, we will multiply equation number 1 by 7 and equation number 2 by 6. So, this implies 49x minus 42y is equal to minus 147 and on multiplying this whole equation by 6, we get 36x plus 42y is equal to minus 78. Now let us move this as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. Now adding equation number 3 and 4, we get 49x minus 42y plus 36x plus 42y is equal to minus 147 plus of minus 78. Now these terms are cancelled with each other and this implies 49x plus 36x is equal to 85x is equal to minus 147 plus of minus will be minus so it will be minus 147 minus 78 which is equal to minus 225. Further, this implies x is equal to minus 225 over 85. Now, 5 into 17 is 85 and 5 into 45 is 225. So, this implies x is equal to minus 45 by 17. Now, this is the equation number 1. Now, putting x is equal to minus 45 by 17. In equation number 1, we get 7 into minus 45 by 17 minus 6y is equal to minus 21. Now, this implies Minus 315 by 17 minus 6y is equal to minus 21. Now on taking the LCM this implies minus 315 minus 102y over 17 is equal to minus 21. Now on cross multiplying this implies minus 315 minus 102y is equal to 17 into minus 21 which is equal to minus 357 and this implies minus 102y is equal to minus 357 plus 315 which further gives minus 102y is equal to minus 42 now this implies y is equal to minus 42 over minus 102. Now here, these are cancelled with each other and here 2 into 21 is 42 and 2 into 51 is 102. Further, 3 into 7 is 21 and 3 into 17 is 51. So this implies y is equal to 7 by 17. So this is the value of x and this is the value of y. Therefore, we get x is equal to minus 45 by 17 and y is equal to 7 by 17. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.